the extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to save various settings like the fill and stroke, etc., as well as stroke options with custom shape. Now I've got the custom shape tool here, shape option, and here's the design that I've created earlier. It's actually part of uh, a rosette shape from set from graphic extras, but of course this could be for any uh, shape. And just basically just go over here. You can actually just go over to the right side and there's a new tool preset. And I'm just going to save that. I say colorful green. Okay. Click OK. Now, if I go and I'm going to move this now, this shape, I'm just going to quickly delete that. And I'm just going to go and create another shape. Just going to go there, just select that one. And the shape is obviously created there. But if I say go over here, set it to black, and maybe add a different gradient, just go there, select a different gradient. Now, this design, say at this point, I don't want that. I don't want that change. So I'm just going to quickly go over here to thing and just set colorful green, double click, and straight away you've actually got back to the original design. So you've actually got the original gradient, you've removed the gradient, obviously it's stored that gradient information, as I said, the other things like the dashes, etc., has been stored as well. Now, also, one quite slightly more useful feature, and I'm just going to now... Now, if I actually remove these, and I'm just going to go to Replace Shapes, and I'm just going to quickly go Replace Shapes, I'm going to Photoshop Shapes, and I've got a whole selection here of shapes that I've created, and so I'm just going to go for pandas. Just select that one, click open, and I'm going to select a panda design, and I can apply that. Now the panda design is applied, <laughs> obviously the uh, maybe needs a bit of refinement in terms of the actual setting. Some of these shapes don't always work so well with strokes. But anyway, that's not the thing. I'm actually now just going to go over to the preset, colorful green, and just applies it back again. But the key thing is, the other shape has actually replaced it. The one that actually was the default one that I actually created the preset with. So you've actually, without actually having to store the actual shape, within obviously everything so if you change it obviously you've got pandas instead of the other old shapes you can actually still bring back the old shape via the presets so that's another way of bringing it a shape that you happen to like and want to use maybe multiple times so there you have it the old shape with obviously still the colorful settings okay so there you have it quick and easy way of bringing back a preset shape that you've actually removed from your custom shapes palette. Hope you found this quick tutorial of interest.